Peace, love, and happy ascension to the Cosmic Crew. You already know what to do. Tweakos is back to give y'all a little peep of the view. Now look, I'm going to tell y'all like this. This video today is going to be about how humans can gain a soul. Yes, I said it. Humans can gain a soul, right? Now look, if y'all didn't know, humans were born without a soul in the first place. Now, I'm going to explain. I'm going to let me elaborate on that. So if you don't know how the human origin story started, I have a video on that. You should go tap in and watch that before watching this video. Now, that being said, let me get straight to this. Humans are born with a closed pineal gland. Their pineal gland is inactive upon birth, right? For the nine Ethereans, for the Anunnaki, for the blacks and Latinos, we do not, well, it's like this. We are already born with an activated pineal gland. It's just that through this light call lockdown matrix, they have tricked us and taught us how to damage ourselves so that our pineal glands can then be shut off or, or sleep or whatever, right? Now with humans, they're automatically coming into this world with closed pineal glands. Now with that being said, it's like this. Electromagnetic world that we live in. We, we live in an electromagnetic world. Electricity is spirit. Magnetism is soul, right? Electricity is spirit. Magnetism is soul. Together it's electromagnetic system, right? Now, the gods have both spirit and soul. Humans have spirits. And I'm going to tell y'all how humans can gain a soul. Because if you didn't know, when the grand scientist, Zeus, a.k.a. Yakub, a.k.a. Satan, Set, Marduk, all these different names, right? Same person. So when this scientist was going through this genetic trial and error or whatnot and created his uh human race basically he created them without a pineal gland and they were a lot more monkey like and everything so if you if you really don't know about that go watch that video on the human origin story now right so moving on from that it's like this um so basically we reverse engineered humans to have pineal glands but we made it so that the ones who are actually worthy of having a soul can be granted a soul by basically working for it, right? So how do you work to gain a soul, right? So I'm going to just tell you right now. The pineal gland is the seat of the soul. These two eyes are the window of the soul, but the and, and, and your gut is the solar plexus. But the, 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 the pineal gland is the seat of the soul. Now... When you electrify this pineal gland enough, basically, you will form magnetism in your pineal gland, granting you a soul in a grand spiritual awakening, right? So, how can humans do this? Well, I have a video on how to raise your vibrational aura, and this does apply to humans as well, although it's mostly for the nine Ethereans, but, but it does apply to humans that are trying to unlock their soul magnetism, right? So, since I'm not going to be going about, I'm not going to be repeating everything I said from my other video, because, you know, you guys can just go watch that if you don't know. But basically, we have seven energy centers in our body, from our feet all the way up to the crowns of our head. And basically, once you energize, once you, once you balance the energy centers, all in alignment, right, you will have this grand surge of energy and electricity going up. And down your body, right? Now, once you electrify the pineal gland enough, basically you will you will formulate uh, enough power for magnetism to take place. Now, a way that you could another it's like this: once you do everything to unlock your seven chakras, here are some extra things that you humans could do to gain a soul. Go outside and meditate in the shade. And when you meditate in the, it's the reason why I say meditate in the shade, right? It's because, you know, the sunlight is still hitting you, but it's not as intense and dangerous to you. Because, you know, humans have melanin, which is like this. Melanin protects you from the sun. Neuromelanin channels the frequencies of the sun. Blacks and Latinos have neuromelanin. Humans, which are Caucasian, Asian, Davidians, and Arabs, and Mexicans, they have melanin, Right? So this is why I say y'all should go into the shade because, you know, you can't channel the frequencies of the sun. Although, when you go outside in the shade 
and you meditate and you really focus on your breathing and you focus on what you're breathing in, this will basically help you get the necessary elements or whatever you want to call it that will help you uh, raise your vibrational aura field, right? It will basically help you reach a higher cellular frequency. So when you go outside, go in the shade, meditate, and focus on breathing in stardust. And, f and focus on the plant pheromones that's all around you. Because when you focus on breathing these things in, you will basically, you will basically t tell your body and your brain to channel the frequencies of these smells so that you can then use it better, right? Because if, you, if you're just thinking that you're just breathing in oxygen and you're not really focused on how you're breathing, you know, you're not going to really get the same benefit of someone who has conscious breathing, right? So like I said, you want to focus on breathing in stardust and plant pheromones. Now, here's another thing that y'all could do. Smoke weed. I'm telling you. When you smoke weed, it will stimulate your pineal gland and it will basically help you unlock your soul. Right. Now, it's like this. Now, this part is going to get a little a little, a little wavy, so I don't know. Since it's going to get wavy, I suggest that y'all learn how to surf. So, listen. The nine ether beings, the Anunnaki gods, the blacks and Latinos, basically our souls, headquarters in the cosmos is the Sirius star system. Right? Our soul headquarters is the Sirius star system. It is not this planet. This planet was like a second home that we created, right? Now, with that being said, weed, a.k.a. cannabis, comes from the Canis stars, right? And the Canis stars is located in the Sirius star system. So, with that being said, we created this plant for magnetism, for soul, right? That is why when you typically see a, a, a human who smokes weed, they are nine times out of ten not going to be a racist, low vibrational person because they're, uh, they're electrifying their pineal gland so much and gaining that magnetism and getting that spiritual awakening that they see that a lot of this bullshit that they've been fed is bullshit. Like white supremacy and stuff like that is bullshit. Um, you know, so when... In the 60s and the 70s, when it was that big hippie movement and a lot of people were going against the government and trying to live off the land and be more, you know, peace and loving and everything. And one, it was because of this weed and these mushrooms stimulating a pineal gland and giving them a soul. They was tapping into that nine ether source of consciousness, basically. All right. Now. It's like this. These hippies, they was all about world peace and love, all equality from all like both genders and all races. They was against the government and everything. Now, this is why the government has basically demonized hippies and made them seem like drugged out degenerates, right? Because it's like this. It's all it's all Quintel Pro. If y'all know what Quintel Pro is, basically it's this organization ran by like the CIA and the FBI where they will basically take organizations like the Black Panthers or hippies or women rights movements and uh, uh, environmentalists and all that stuff. Like people that like want to take care of the planet. Basically, Cointel Pro was programmed to infiltrate these uh, these movements and basically taint them and destroy them for what they are. Right. That is why the Black Panthers dissipated and turned into gangs and now they kill each other and um and that's why hippies are now seen as drugged out degenerates and, and all this other stuff so yeah these psychedelics will help you gain a soul the word psychedelic literally means soul manifestation right so when you say these psychedelics weed is a psychedelic is it where it's more like a pseudo psychedelic right it's like it's like this. You got sober, and you got the weed high, and then you got the psychedelia, like the full-blown psychedelia. It's like it's like as if weed is like the gateway to psychedelia. That's why they call it the gateway. Not because it's like this. 
it, it, it get tricky with these word games, bro. Because the way they have taught you about weed being a gateway drug is that it will lead you into worse drugs like heroin and crack and meth and all that other bullshit. But really, it is a gateway into the psychedelic realm of soul manifestation. Right? Now, if you guys didn't know that, yeah, now you know. This is Tweakosis. Giving you all the drop. Now, look. It's like this. Humans need to raise their cellular frequency before they ass get cooked up by the sun because, listen, we're going through a planetary shift right now and all who is vibrating low and all without a soul will be eradicated. I will say again, all without a soul will be eradicated and all that is on a super low cellular frequency will also perish as well. So this goes for all people. It don't matter what race you are. It don't matter what you is. It's like this. You could be a whole nine ether god. But you still vibrating on a very low cellular frequency. Your ass is toast. Right? So listen. With all these different informational videos that I'm giving about gods and humans and everything. I'm just trying to help everybody out, bro. Listen. I know that not all humans are against us. And I know not all humans want to carry out Zeus's plan. If y'all know, Zeus is Satan. So I know that most humans... I know that a lot of humans don't want to carry out Satan's plan. I know a lot of them do, right? It's just duality in all things. So, for that being said, I don't want nobody to feel like as if I'm just shitting on them because they're, say, white or something. I love y'all. I, 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 There's so many white people that I know that I love dearly, like truly. Listen, I have no discrimination towards anybody. Yo, gender, sexuality, race. Size, it does not matter. I don't care if you are uh, what the what what others will say, quote unquote, ugly. I don't really believe in ugly, ugly. Um, it doesn't matter if you're super beautiful or unattractive, right? I'm gonna treat you with respect as long as you respect me and vibrate high. That's all it is. So listen, I'm trying to save y'all humans from this destruction that y'all don't even know about. Ain't nobody telling y'all this in school. Ain't nobody telling this to you on the news. And I for damn sure know your family ain't talking about this as well. So that's why y'all need to come and get this drop from Tweakos Psychedelia, a.k.a. Tweakosis. Because I'm trying to save the motherfucking planet. You feel me? So with that being said, I love... Hold on, it's like this. Oh, my bad. With that being said, you know, I appreciate everybody taking time out of their day to watch this video. And gain the insights, you know. So it is pretty late right now where I'm at. Um, the video is about 13 minutes. So that being said, this is a pretty good um time to end it. Uh, yeah, man. One.